Shalom, I like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, and double honors to the apostles and elders of GMS that taught us his word. I just want to talk about now being a high time, you know, to wake out of sleep. You know, now is the time to seek the Lord. You know, I gotta seek him early. You don't want to seek the Lord when, you know, all hell breaks loose, you know, when martial law breaks loose. Because he won't be found then. You know, that'll be the uh, the famine of the word. You'll be able to find the Lord in that time when they institute the chip. That'll be it's gonna be too late then. So now's the time to seek the Lord. But yes, slowly but surely, you know that famine of the word is coming. Um, I just found an article at DailyMail.co.uk entitled "Boris Johnson will ban gatherings of more than six people from Monday." So over there in England, they're gonna ban. You know, gatherings um, of six people. I believe before the limit was 30 uh, people, which they talk about in this article. And now they're reducing it down to six people. And that's indoors and outdoors. So, you know. But uh, it says new lockdown rules for England from Monday. And this article was dated September 8th. Uh, max social gatherings six people applies indoors and outdoors applies in private homes in pubs and restaurants does not apply in schools or workplaces weddings funerals team sports uh, police will be encouraged to break up larger groups and issue a hundred dollar euro fine or a hundred euro fine which will then double on each repeat offense up to 3,200 euros. Uh, gatherings of more than six people, uh, more than six are being banned to try and halt a second wave of coronavirus. In his, in his first reversal of the easing of national lockdown, Boris Johnson last night warned a surge in cases must not, must not be allowed to get out of control. From Monday, it will be illegal to assemble in groups of seven or more anywhere in England, whether indoors or out. Uh, the Rule of Six is a dramatic reduction on the limit of 30 put in place on July 4th. Police will be encouraged to break up larger groups and issue $100 fines, 100 euro fines. Uh, only schools and workplaces and a limited number of other locations will be exempt. Uh, it's absolutely critical that people now abide by these rules and remember the basics, washing your hands, covering your face, keeping space from others, and getting a test if you have symptoms. Uh, discussing the stringent move today, Health Sec Secretary Matt Hancock insisted the public must follow the coronavirus rules despite the government admitting it will, was willing to break international law over Brexit. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not going to read this whole article, but yeah. But the point is, you know, they're banning more than seven, you know. And that soon, you know, that's the law most likely going to spread over the world, across the entire world to the point to where, you know the time of Jacob's troubles coming up and the martial law, then no one will be out on the streets you know, the prophets, the teachers anybody and that will be the, uh, the famine of the word um, this is Amos 8 and 11 behold, day, the days come, saith the Lord power, that I will send a famine in the land not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro seek to seek the word of the Lord, and shall not find it. So yeah, like, now is the time, you know, while the Lord can be found. Because the internet, they shut down brothers' pages, you know, they're going to censor. So you're not going to be able to get the word over the internet. You're not going to be able to get the word from the street. 
So you can't wait till all hell breaks loose, you know? You have to seek the Lord early. And now is the time, right? Now it's the time to wake out of sleep. Uh, next scripture is Jeremiah 29 and 11. For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Then shall ye call upon me, and ye shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you. And ye shall seek me, and find me. And when ye shall search for me with all your heart, when ye shall search for me with all your heart. So now is the time to search for the Lord with all your heart, man. Now is the time to get this word and this truth. You see the prophecies coming, and you see everything's going to hell, man. It's just going to get worse. 2020 was a crazy year. 2021 is going to be even crazier. You know. Can't wait to that last minute. You know. Next scripture is uh, Proverbs 8 and 17. I love them that love me. And those that seek me early shall find me. Yeah. Now, now it's the early time. You know. Now it's high time to wake out of sleep. To get this word, and to pray on the name Yahweh, Hashem Yahweh Shai, you know. The last scripture is uh, Proverbs 1 and 22. 1 and 22. How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? And the scorners delight in the scorning, and fools hate knowledge, yeah, how long? You know, the simple ones that love simplicity, you know, being simple. Not caring, you know, scorning, scoffing, scorners, man. How long, you know? Turn you at all my reproof. Behold, I will pour my spirit unto you, and I will make known my words unto you. And we're in that time now. The Most High is making his words unto his men right now, you know, his people, you know, through the prophets, through the apostles, through the elders. You know, ever since, you know, the early 2000s, you know, 2006, you know, when this word was published worldwide through the internet, that's the Lord making his, his words known, you know, because I have called and he refused. I've stretched out my hand and no man regarded. Yeah, that's why you don't have a whole lot of people, you know, listening to the prophets and the men out there on the streets teaching. You may have like one brother out there listening. You know, that's the most high Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is stretching out his hand and no one's listening, no one's regarding him. But he have set at all he has set at naught all my counsel and would none of my reproof. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. Yeah, so when that fear cometh, man, that's not the time to want to seek the Lord. You know, that's not the time to want to, you know, get right and, and learn the names and pray in the name in that time and go after and seek the men of the Lord in that time when your fear cometh. Because the Lord's going to mock you, man. Because he, He's making His words unto you now. You know, but Jacob just wants to party and, you know, not take this word seriously you know he wants to have fun and you know but you know all that's going to catch up with him that's going to catch up to you you know I will also laugh at your calamity I will mock when your fear cometh when your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind when distress and anguish come up, cometh upon you then shall ye call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. For they, for that they hate and hated knowledge, and did not choose the fear of the Lord. Yeah, so they're going to seek the Lord when, when their fear cometh, man. You know, when that desolation cometh, you know, when that martial law cometh. You know, that's when they're going to seek the Lord, but the Lord ain't going to be found. He's going to be laughing you know, through his men, you know, the men of the Lord that seeked him early, you know. They're going to have an abundance in that day. So, yeah, you know, that, you know, now is high time 
to wake out of sleep. And you know, just continue to pray and keep the faith and endure until the end. So with that, go shalom.